Hi guys, my name is Katie and welcome to this Key Stage 2 science video for physics. And in this video, with the help of our fun-loving superhero characters, we are here to help you achieve 100. So, what is physics? So, physics is the study of nature and properties of matter and energy. So, energy, forces, earth and space. So, the modules that are covered in your physics SATs include light and dark, shadows, sound, electricity, conductors, insulators, circuits, gravity, forces and resistance, levers, pulleys and gears, earth and space, magnetism. So let's have a quick look at a sample question for light. So answer the following questions by circling one of three choices, always, sometimes or never. So Earth receives light from the sun, always, sometimes, or never. Sun shines on London, always, sometimes, never. You should look directly at the sun, always, sometimes, never. And you can see without light, always, sometimes, never. Okay, so let's work through these questions together. So Earth receives light from the sun. So you should circle always because Earth will always receive light from the sun no matter which way the Earth is rotating. The sun shines on London so that would be sometimes because obviously London receives daytime and nighttime so it will only get sun for half of that day. You should look directly at the sun while well, your answer would be never because it's not good for your eyes if you look directly into the sunlight. You can see without light, again, your answer would be never because without light, you wouldn't be able to see, okay? So light is essential when it comes to vision. So sample question for sound, okay? So answer the following questions by circling A, B or C. So what are sounds? And there are your answer options. Sound travels fastest through... Sound can travel through vacuums. So your answer for what are sounds would be vibrations because sounds are made up of really small vibrations and this is what, how you can hear something. So sound travels fastest through solids. Sound can travel through vacuums never. Okay, so these are your answers. And if you're struggling with these types of questions, don't forget to look at the link below this video because this is a di direct link to our physics revision guide and this is, this contains loads of questions not just for sound but for the whole physics module okay so sample question for electricity so for people who work with electricity it's vi it's a, it is of vital importance that they prote protect themselves from shocks Using words like conductor and insulator, describe how they might do this, okay? So this requires you to write your own answer. So what you should do is pause this video and have a go at writing your own answer. You can write your answer in the comment box below, and I'll have a look at those answers for you and see how well you're doing. But if you have written your answer, and feel free to take a look at my sample response below, okay? So if you haven't wrote your answer already, Make sure you quickly pause this video because I'm just about to show you the answer. Okay, so the answer for this. Human bodies are good conductors of electri electricity, so they, those who are working near power circuits need to take steps to make sure that they do not expose themselves to the electrical energy. They can do this by using tools and wearing clothes that are electrical insulators, which will form a barrier between the electrical power and their bodies. So your answer should be along those kind of lines, okay? So remember to use those important words such as conductor and insulator. So sample question for forces. Answer the following questions by circling either true or false, okay? So levers, pulleys and gears are able to multiply force they receive. These machines are able to create force. The closer the applied force is to the fulcrum of a lever, the bigger the resulting force will be. A cog with 20 teeth will make a cog with 10 teeth turn twice as fast as it is turning. Okay, so true or false for each of these statements. So for the, for the first statement, levers, pulleys and gears are able to multiply force they receive, your answer would be true. 
These machines are able to create force. This is force. The closer the applied force is to the fulcrum of a lever, the bigger the resultant force will be. But well, this would be force. And a cog with 20 teeth will make a cog with 10 teeth turn twice as fast as it is turning. And again, that would be true. Okay. So that completes it for this quick video on the physics module of your Key Stage 2 SATs for Science. If you want more practice questions, make sure that you check out www.howsbecome.com where we have lots of test resources for your Key Stage 2 Science as well as other subject areas such as Math and English. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped. And if you do have any questions, drop me a message below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.